Okay, so let's talk about the slider. And this one is gonna be really simple. So I'm gonna bring the component at the top slider, and then I'm gonna go to the state and I'm gonna say value of 50. All right, that's it. That's the only thing I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna go at the bottom, you know, just below the picker, and I'm just gonna make a reference to that slider. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it be. I'm just gonna say slider. Now, if I reload the application, we get the, you know, we get a slider and that's it. Really, really simple. Just a slider. And if we go to Android, let me just reload the application and you get pretty much the same idea. So again, this is just a cool component we could use, could be useful. Maybe you know, uh, maybe jQuery UI, you get the same sliders, pretty much all the, uh, the uh, you know, material or everything else, you know, that, that type of uh, libraries, they get the slider. So of course, uh, right now we're just doing slider. We are not passing a value to the slider. So we could just use the state and just save value. And this one will use whatever value we pass. So I'm gonna say state and then value. All right. So I'm gonna reload it. And again, we just get the pretty much the same thing. So since the value it's 50, the slider does not know what is the max and what is the minimum. So of course, when you do a slider, you try to select something that's between a range. Since the application doesn't know, it's just gonna go you know, to the top, just gonna go to the end. Same thing with Android. Now, of course, you get some uh, properties and props uh, with the slider, so you can you know, define the maximum value and the minimum value. And this one's kind of a make sense. So maximum value, that's it. It's gonna be equal, and I'm gonna say 100. If we, want. If we get 50, it's just 100. Now, if I reload this, of course, it's gonna go 50% because it starts from zero all the way to 100. You can, of course, uh, select as well the minimum value. So I'm gonna say minimum value, and uh, I don't know, I'm gonna start at one. Since it starts at zero, now it starts at one. So if we reload it, we pretty much get the same thing. Let's, let's even try it. Let's say if I start in 30, if I reload it, of course, it's gonna make the uh, math and do it for you. So you can do a lot of things with this. You can do step, for example. And sometimes, of course, uh, when you go through the slider, you want for the user not to go, you know, 50, 51, 52, 53. You just want them to go in steps, 10, 20, 40, or whatever. So in this case, you can put the steps, go in 10s, 20s, 30s, whatever. I'm just gonna say 20s. And I'm gonna change this one and go back to one. So I'm gonna reload it, and of course, if we move it, we get, you know, we move in 20s. Now remember I'm doing 101. So if you go in 20s, instead of going to, you know, 20, it's gonna be 21, 31, 41, you know? Now, of course you get a way to know what, which values is the user is selecting. So I'm just gonna go at the top and create a function to handle this. Handle, uh, slider, and then change. Something that makes sense. Open, and of course, uh, when we trigger the event from the slider, this one will pass to whatever function the value that the user is selecting. So this one will receive uh, an argument, the value. And for now, I'm just going to do alert. That's it. Alert, and then value. So the uh, property that we get to know what the user is moving, it's on value change. Really simple, just like the other ones. So this dot, and then we just make a reference to handle slider change. And that's it. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna reload the application and see what happens. If I move back, we get 41. Remember I told you one and uh, you know zero. Let's see if we start zero, what we get. So I'm gonna reload it and we get, you know, 60, 80 and uh, you know, whatever. All right. So of course in real life, you're just not gonna alert. You're gonna store this on the value. And that's why when the application starts, we get 50. So of course we can modify this and you know get the information from there. So you just can simply do a this that set state. I'm just gonna do it the easy way. I'm gonna say value and and this is actually important. If I do value just like this, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna reload it, and of course we you know kind of works. Now if I do something like this and reload the application, we get an error, uh, get an error message. And it's because the slider 
only supports integers, right? It only supports numbers. You cannot pass a string and you know, you kind of make sense. The slider is just to select numbers. So you cannot pass a, a string. So maybe, of course, it's more secure to do parse and then int and convert everything to uh, an integer. If I reload it, that still works. All right. You know, really easy to use slider. It's just a dumb component, but sometimes when you need to add some forms or something else, it, it could be really, really useful, just like the uh, date picker. All right, we're going to go to the next section. I'm going to show you something very, very simple. It's really, really simple, but I'm pretty sure you're going to use it the whole time. So let's go to the next one and talk about the activity indicator. Thank you.